need to cover isotopic notation. An element written in isotopic notation is preceded by its mass number as a superscript and the atomic number as a subscript. Let's see if any of our fairy attendees can help us out with the details. Mm, being the first to arrive is certainly awkward, especially when you don't watch out for the hefty toads around here with no regard for where they hop. This massive A-shaped toad on top of this tiny fairy represents the mass number, A, which is written on top of the atomic number. The mass number is equal to the total neutrons and protons in an atom's nucleus, because like this toad, both particles have significant mass. The atomic number, Z, is written under the mass number, which is why there's a mask with a Z-shaped ribbon underneath that hefty hopper. That mask is looking pretty positive, because the atomic number is the total number of positive particles, or protons, in the atom's nucleus. Knowing these two values allows you to calculate the number of neutrons in the isotope by subtracting Z, the number of protons, from A, the number of protons and neutrons. Alright, let's see who's next to arrive. Huh, the fairy village blacksmith. Still busy working, because like she says, All work and no play makes fairies ready for war. Salt of the swamp she is. Pleasantries aside, she's busy fusing multiple pieces of light armor into that heavy chest plate, because fusion is the process of combining multiple light nuclei to make a heavier nucleus. Now this fairy bartender looks like he's busy waging a war of his own. One against social awkwardness and inhibitions. He's splitting up that fizzy potion into multiple fairy shots, because fission occurs when an atom's nucleus is split into two or more lighter nuclei. Alright, it's about that time for the main guests to show up. And did I hear someone say party? Oh. No, I guess they said decay, because we're moving on to radioactive decay. Much like a fairy rager, radioactive decay is a natural and spontaneous process, and it involves the decay of nuclei and the accompanying emission of certain teeny tiny particles. Speaking of spontaneous, looks like the alpha fairy is floating in now on his fairy blimp since he's too weighed down by his own muscle mass to fly anymore. He and his helium balloon should remind you of alpha decay, which involves the emission of alpha particles, 